guys so today we're gonna to talk about Jaden Smith um, <clears throat> and just the thing that's going on about him so let me go ahead and get that pulled up right quick for you guys why you Jaden Smith do Jaden Smith. Why is everyone so bothered by Jaden Smith's clothes? <clears throat> Jaden Smith. He's been sporting his little new Louis Vuitton. <clears throat> As you can see. Jaden Smith was born a precocious child. Destined to speak. Hold on. Let me uh, pick a different voice for this. See what we got. <clears throat> Maybe here we go. <clears throat> Jaden, <clears throat> Jaden. Jaden was it with a precocious child, destined to tweet out some of his the deepest wisdom. This rule of a fortune could if, but a couple of dodgy quotes doesn't a bad person make, but made no sense. What's with all the backlash over his Louis Louis Vuitton campaign? <clears throat> so Jaden Smith, you're a precocious child, are you? Is that what they call you now? <laughs> Jaden Smith has been allowed to do whatever Jaden Smith wants to do. And this is the life he just continues to live. Um, so Jaden Smith, <clears throat> Jaden um, is Louis Vuitton, first male identifying women's wear ambassador. So, Will, may I ask this question? <clears throat> Jaden's a grown man, so I'm not even going to blame this on Will. <clears throat> Why do you think that young black men want to dress like this? Let's, let's watch the video. And we can't watch the video. I don't really have to go all the way there to see this. It's not even on here. There's Jaden. There's Zendaya. I don't see Jaden's video, no. <clears throat> if 
far back does this go? This is March. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> it may no longer be there. It says watch again on Instagram, but I didn't get to see it. Uh, nonetheless, <clears throat> so what he's pretty much wearing is this dress ensemble. Um, we can go back to a couple of his pictures right here. So, here's Jaden. Kind of the stuff that he's been wearing. As you can see right here, this is a while back too. But you see he's doing women's wear. Look how he's wearing this dress here in the background. Um, <clears throat> you know what? I know some people would say they want to demasculate the black man, but here's just my honest opinion on it. I don't, um, I don't think they're necessarily trying to emasculate the black man, at least not in this case. But what I do think that they're doing is teaching us, or they're trying to get us to this point where they think wearing a dress is something to be empowered about, something to be proud of. And I'm just sorry to say that I just truly don't believe that. Um, and I know what people say, oh, wearing a dress is just a social contract. And yes, it is there, but it is a social contract. So if, the, if, that, if it is a social contract and you're saying that a man wearing a dress, that there's no problem with it, then why is he wearing a dress? Why does Jaden do that? They just said he was the precocious child. He does this to be different. He does this to show that he's not the norm. It's just like... <laughs> And with the thing with Jaden, and they say he was he's been full of wisdom like a fortune cookie that are fake. Okay, fortune cookies aren't like a real thing. They just do that for us Americans. It's just a joke. A, a nothing. There's no wisdom in the cookie. They put, put put a bunch of words together and then call it wisdom because it came in some cookie that they used to sell and market. But let's not get that twisted. Do I think Jaden Smith is a bad guy? Obviously not. Jaden Smith does great stuff for the community. But I think... Um, the whole agenda he's been pushing in him and Willow uh, Smith, who have been pushing this agenda that you, the, the whole point of the world is to kind of have this super freedom. We talked about this before the other day when it came to discipline. We even talk about more about that even here later, but the whole concept of living free and being able to do whatever you want, wear dresses, um, <clears throat> be act like a girl and, but be male identifying is people. I think what people want so badly, and this is what Jaden is pushing towards and what Willow does too, is this just, absolute nonsense to say whatever whenever and just ever, all of us have to accept it if we go back to the time that Wa uh, willow smith was talking with jaden smith at the red table and it's uh, jaden uh, jada smith had talked about <clears throat> jada smith had talked about when her grandmother had taught her about um masturbation right she said her grandmother taught her at the age of nine years old about masturbation and to show that she never needs a man to satisfy her. That's just goofball stuff, is it not? It's goofy. And we're not going to talk about how um, it's kind of weird that uh, your grandmother was teaching a nine-year-old to masturbate. I mean, nine years old? <laughs> what are we doing? You know what's so weird to me? is we talked about this with Kim Kardashian as well and her mother. And let's just get to the gist of it. The fact that she's always talking about um, <clears throat> how the whole thing with the sex tape with Kim got started and blah, blah, blah. I'm sure you know the story. But if you ever watch Kim, her mother, and even, uh, what is her name? Uh, Chloe. When you see them in uh, commercials and stuff like that, they're touching all over each other. Chris being the one who started the whole sex tape because, you know, Ray J came out with all the information, making her making Kim Kardashian and Ray J sign a contract about how the sex tape is going to get leaked. A mother wanting to watch her daughter have sex with another man for fame. Jada thought that she was being cool by saying my grandmother who well, let's say let's just give let's just give it a nice number. Let's go nine. Let's just let's say she was nine and her grandmother was 40. And she was teaching her about masturbating. Think about this. I want y'all to really think about this. And I always hate to have to use this analogy. But if that was any other human being on the planet talking about that with their young nine year old child, don't you think that'd be weird? Like why? The fact and just to push on to this, I don't have any music going, but we're going to keep this um, just light for now. <laughs> I do like music for you guys to kind of keep y'all engaged, but we won't have any on this one, but we have one in the next video. The fact that Kim Kardashian, I mean, um, Jada Smith, said that her grandmother taught her about masturbation, so she, she learned that she doesn't need a man. And the fact that she felt so comfortable coming out and saying that kind of stuff, it is to my no surprise that 
uh, that Willow is the is the way she is and the way Jaden is. They think they have all this crazy wisdom. Hold on. I can see my thing jumping here. Okay. They think they have all this crazy wisdom to the world because their mother has let them do whatever because, let's be honest, Will Smith is not the father in that family. He, he's not the father in the family. I'm sorry. Will Smith... He's the mom. He's the mom in the family. And you know what? To be honest, he's not even a good mom. Not at all. Not at all. Will Smith is like a Will Smith is like an absent father while he's in the relationship. Look, I'm getting so hyped, my camera's dipping. Will Smith is a man who's trying to teach his child. While letting his, his mother walk all over him. We saw Will Smith did to Chris Rock slapping him and everything. Do you think that that family has a real respect for Will? I don't doubt that they love Will Smith. I think Jaden and Willow do love Will. But do I think they respect him? Absolutely not. Because the way Willow let Jada talk about him in public, the fact that she released that note that she's sent to Tupac, all that kind of stuff just shows me they don't respect Will. And that's why they get out here and get crazy. And Will Smith actually did an interview on his whole uh, Jaden wearing a dress six years ago, right? He's just like Dwayne Wade. At the end of the day, they don't want to be a father to these their sons. They just let them do whatever they want. And Dwayne Wade... Also not a father. <laughs> Dwayne Wade, listen, I think he takes care of his children. But to say that he's done a disservice to his son as well, him and Will Smith have just gone just completely awry. And they think it's okay. And that's my problem. M men, as fathers, we do have a duty to teach our sons how to be men. I'm not saying that we have to, they have to be rough and tough and shoot guns and all that kind of stuff, but there is a responsibility that comes with being a man. What I think has happened today is that when we associate the word man, we, what the people will have you believe is that being a man is a bad thing. And it's not. There's nothing wrong with being somewhat masculine. We're not saying that there's no, there, there, there doesn't have to be all the traits are all the same. That's the problem also. People associate masculinity with just toxicity, right? They don't see masculine as a good thing, something you can walk around with, protection, um, being there for your family, being the father, being the husband, all these things that come together, being a provider, you know, not always having to be the decision maker, but if the final decision comes down to it, you can make that decision. But who's going to take all the bullets for that bad decision? You are. There's a responsibility that comes with the being a man. And I think they want to strip all that from men and say, no, you need to go be over here. Don't take all this responsibility. We want you to wear a dress. We want you to do this kind of stuff to show. And we want you to tell your son that he can be a girl so that, that people can look at you and be like, oh, being a man isn't about that. Being a man is about letting your children do whatever they want and be whoever they want and let society raise them. Because who do you think told Dwayne Wade's son that he's a girl? Who do you think told him that? To say that he came to that on his own, obviously he could. He could have gender dysmorphia or dysphoria, sorry. But the, the, the point is, that's so rare, number one. And I believe the Wayne Wade has already gone over this. And they said that as soon as he wanted to transition to a girl, that it was just allowed and they were just going to do it anyway because they knew as soon as he said it when he was, what, 10 years old? Because that, that young man is still young. But what, 10 years old, they came up to him and said that I want to be a girl. And they were just like, cool. And I hate, you know what is also frustrating? Is that I heard some people say stuff like, you know, um, it was the woman, uh, it's the young, uh, it's the young man who's been on that TV show, that transition. Y'all can go look it up. The person who transitioned on live uh, in front of all of our eyes. He said that it wasn't like I told my mom that I want to be a girl. And then it was an immediate reaction. She turning you to a girl while you were still a child. <laughs> That's the point. And that, I, to say that the child himself was able to intellectually and be able to say, hey, you know what? Oh, I think I really want to be a girl and I can do this. And then the parents are just like, yes, yeah, like what's the point of parenthood at that point to let your child just run amok? Because I'm being honest with you. Let's go get down to the gritty. Let's get down to the meat and potatoes. I don't eat meat. I'm vegan.
Let's get down to the broccoli and potatoes. Listen, I'm just yelling for entertainment purposes, but let's just say this. Let's be honest. If a child really did come down um, and say to you, um, <clears throat> I want to have relations with a 25 year old. If your 10 year old daughter came up to you and said she wants to have relationships with a 25 year old, would you accept that? Of course not. That's gross. So what if she told you she wants to um, mutilate herself and she wants to take out her breast tissue and she wants to be a boy? If you've never seen these surgeries, and I'm serious, if you have the if you have the wherewithal to be able to watch it, if you're able to see blood and stuff, go watch a transition surgery. Go see what they do to men when they change a man to a woman. <laughs> They're not changing a man to a woman. They're changing a man into a penisless man. That's what's really happening. But it's not really a transition. You're not going from man to woman because you don't get all the stuff that comes with being a woman. A woman is just not ovaries. A woman is just not a uterus. A woman is not just breast. But that's what they want you to believe. But it's so it's not really a transition from a man to a woman. It's really a transition from a man to a penisless man. And the same thing with a woman going to a man. It's just a woman who is put on a body part that could resemble a man. If y'all go look at these surgeries, they look absolutely horrifying. They make it seem to you, they, what they make it seem to you is that when they go through these surgeries that, oh, when a woman goes to a guy, it's just a, oh, it's just, you just put on a penis and it works and functions just like a normal guy's penis. And when they go to a girl, they just ch chop, open a hole. Now they can orgasm. No, go look at the transition stories. They can develop infections. They got to keep it the hole open for the men. They don't feel the, the, the women who try to go to the body part of a man. They don't get to feel the same sensation. Maybe they can orgasm. I've not heard any stories where they can. But at the same time, they even talked about a young lady who did the surgery. And she has to keep lube in her fake vagina. Keep lube in there from keeping it from drying out and getting infected. And she grows hair out of there. And it can get extremely painful. That's changing your life forever. To say that that is a normal thing a normal person would ever want to do is transition, it isn't. And let's take transitioning out of it. Let's take the surgery out because the surgery, if you look at it, it looks kind of insane to even think about doing. To, to, to chop off my genitals and open a hole inside myself to where if I don't keep that hole open, my body will close it because it knows it's not supposed to be there. and It'll close itself and I'll be mutilated forever. My life can never go back. And they want to do that to children. Jaden Smith is only making. Let's finish what I was saying. Even if you don't transition, this actually goes right back to Jaden. Even if you don't transition and you become a man and you want to start wearing dresses and stuff like that. The reason I'm against it is I'm not trying to say that. It's about fashion and what Russell Rethbrook did and all this. I'm going to wear a dress. My problem is, what are you doing it for? Because they called Jaden a male identifying woman's wear ambassador. So he's wearing what they, even Louis Vuitton considers, a woman's wear. So he's not wearing a dress, a male dress. He is a woman's wear ambassador. So he's not just wearing a dress. He is wearing what even Louis Vuitton, or I don't know how to say the word, considers woman's wear. So why would he be doing that? To be different. To seem, oh, I'm out there. But what he doesn't understand is with these young men, are impressionable. When a young man feels demasculated, especially when he's young, because he's not into, you know, hunting. Maybe he's not into football. Maybe he likes to cook. Maybe he likes to garden. But what you people do, people like you, Jaden, y'all don't embrace a guy who likes to garden. Y'all don't embrace a man who likes to cook. What y'all say is he's gay. What y'all do is say he should put on dresses and embrace his feminine side. Y'all don't allow a man to be Man, you don't let a man to be able to cook or be garden 
or maybe want to do ballet or be a dancer. No, y'all immediately label that as feminine. Oh, he must be gay because he likes ballet. Just because it's not a masculine thing. Y'all I put labels on people so quickly. And y'all want people to just be like, wear a dress then. No, you can still wear pants. It'd be no different than when a girl likes to go, when a girl likes to play basketball, we say, oh, she likes to play basketball with the boys. Oh, she's clearly a lesbian. Why do we do that to young children? Don't we understand to be ruined lives? Just let kids be kids. If a young man wants to go out and garden, he wants to go do stuff that's not considered normal masculine stuff, let him go do it. You know, when I was growing up, I played football. I did powerlifting, but I also did stuff that some people would consider feminine. I like to cook, obviously. I like to cook, right? I like to hang out with girls. I did, when I was younger, play with Barbie dolls. But I didn't. I never saw that stuff as gay. When I played with the Barbie doll, what did I see it as? A freaking toy. I saw a girl doll, which I knew existed because I'd seen other girls in my real life, and I had a man doll who I had seen in the other parts of my life, and just thought, well, well, they could be friends because I've seen that in other parts of my life. And just because I liked hanging hanging out with girls because I, I had sisters, and sometimes I, I just naturally can talk to women. Not all the time, obviously. But to say that the label me gay because I like to do some things that would be considered feminine is the, what's wrong with people, right? Even Louis Vuitton, once again, called the dress women's wear. So he's not wearing a dress as a man. He's wearing what could, what could be considered women's clothing. <laughs> they just want to break down masculinity in every form they can. And they're doing the same thing with femininity. Women who like to do feminine things, dress up and all that kind of stuff. They want to weed that out. They want you to be a girl boss, a CEO. They want you to be aggressive, masculine, stand your ground. They're trying. You know what? And let's get down to the real broccoli. Let's get down to the cabbage. Let's get down to the spinach. I ain't talking Popeye. Let's get down to the real stuff. Why are they doing all of this? They want to destroy the family. The more men you get wanting to be women and the more women you get not necessarily wanting to be men, but want to be aggressive and single and career driven. The more you get that, the more the family goes. That's it. Just cracks. And once you destroy the family, what do you get? You get more people who are single. And what do you get when you get more people who are single? You get more people who are going to fall in line. You're going to get more people who fall in line. Dwayne Wade is a basketball player. I mean, he, his name's not important, honestly. His name's not important. Um, but they just want to get you, get you out of the family, get you to not have a wife. Men, they want you to go have sex with a bunch of women, or they want you to be a woman so you never have a family. Women, they want y'all to be career driven and say that the family, it, the family life and being a wife is slavery. And they want y'all to do that. So you won't want to be up there. You want to go out there and do all this stuff just so you'll be single alone at 40 years old. And now they can tell you all this crazy stuff. Because trust me, trust me, when you live by yourself and you're alone, you're ma you're way more susceptible to listen to whatever the media tells you because you don't have a spouse. You don't got nobody. Yeah, you got some friends, but you're rarely going to be with your friends every single day. So there's going to be times and stints when you're all by yourself for days at a time with nothing but YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. And they're going to manipulate you. And they're going to tell you to fall in line. This is what you need to do. And guess what you're going to do? Fall in line and do what you're told to do. Listen, families are important. But when they get other young men to tell other men to wear dresses, it's inevitable that these men will start to act not more feminine, but they will start to let go of what truly makes them a man. That's that, that, that being a protector, a provider, a lover. The thing, the responsibility of being a man, sometimes you got to be the one who goes on the front line. They want to destroy that for you, men. They don't want men going to the front line. They don't want men being the providers. They don't want men being the protectors. 
They don't want that. They don't want the women to do that. Don't get it twisted. They don't want women to be providers because they know when a woman becomes really career driven and the more women that become career driven become more single and they just have babies out of wedlock. And the more in the what happens when a woman starts having more babies out of wedlock? She needs more help from the government. She needs more help from the government. Because as much as people want you to think that if you're a career driven woman that you're going to be rich, you're not. Most people are going to make average money. You know why? Because it's called average money. Because most people are what? Average. Like me. Like you. That's why it's called average, doofus. If everybody was rich, nobody would be rich. If everybody was rich, there would still be the upper rich and the bottom rich. Don't you understand rich? <sighs> Once they get these women to be single mothers and to kick out the men because they don't want men being masculine and the protectors no more. You get more people who rely on the government, rely on that money. And the more they do that, the more they're going to fall in line. Don't be fooled. Men, there's nothing wrong with stuff that you like to do, but don't let them take your manhood from you. Don't let them manipulate you into saying you need to wear a dress to be more manly. That is idiotic. I'm sorry. It doesn't make you more manly to wear a dress. Wearing pants, just like it doesn't make a woman less feminine if she wears pants. Just. <sighs> they want to destroy. Sorry, I didn't mean to sniffle in y'all's face. They want to destroy everything that comes with a family. Open your eyes. I didn't realize this either. Okay? But it's time. Make a choice. Jaden Smith has made his so far. Sam Smith has made his so far. Jojo Siwa has made hers. But all of these people, and I will reiterate this, all of these people can change. I'm not here to... Unless these people start coming out and saying stuff evil, which I think kind of what Jaden is doing is borderline destruction and uh, very uh damaging to young black men and very damaging to young men period but more black men are going to be able to relate to him because he's black that's the only reason i bring it up he's black people tend to go with their own races okay it's not a racist thing more white people are going to look up to more white people you're going to do it with more people who look like you it just is what it is but um all of these people can change their lives I still pray for these people. I don't hate these people. Sometimes you get manipulated by this industry because you know what? And I want to say this before I go. You know who else gets manipulated by the industry? You. You know who else gets uh, manipulated by the industry? Me. <laughs> we, we, we sit on our phones all day looking at TikToks, YouTube, and thinking that we're not getting brainwashed. Oh, we are. They keeping us on our phones. They make us less productive. And the less productive we get, the more we start to listen to what social media does. And the more we start to believe whatever we see. And the more videos we start to fall in line with. And the next thing you know, we barely ever, ever think for ourselves. Jaden, thank you for teaching us a valuable lesson. We can all be manipulated, especially with no fathers in the home. Will Smith, 